Hey y'all, welcome to another whole baking video. Today I'm going to be doing some cleaning. I'm also going to be fixing my lunch, which is my go-to lunch. It's um, a buffalo chicken salad and I love it. So I'm going to be sharing that with y'all. I'm also going to be sharing a southern peach tea recipe that only requires two ingredients. I know that's crazy, but we're going to be doing that today. We're going to be doing a little bit of decorating, like very minimal decorating. Y'all know how I am. Um, I have this like clean stuff that I want to put on our little diamond shape window on our back door. And um, I have this like little floor mat I want to put in the bathroom. But without further ado, um, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Tons of motivation for you today. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. It's free and I upload every Sunday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I appreciate each one of you that are here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. While I clean up the bathroom before I decorate a little bit in here, I wanted to let all of you know that on Instagram, I have been doing a lot of fun things in my stories. So a couple of times a week, we will do speed cleaning motivation for any of y'all that watch my stories. And on Fridays, I do Feel Good Friday. So I will share a bunch of positive quotes that I find off of Pinterest in my stories to help inspire you and set you up for a wonderful weekend. And I also share like day in the lives in my Instagram stories. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, it is Kimmy Cope underscore. And I would love for you to follow me over there. I do a lot of behind the scenes and stuff like that. And just keep you motivated throughout the week when I am not posting on YouTube. changing out my hand towel I normally do this once a week because I actually do use my hand towel in the bathroom to dry my hands and I'm just switching it out with this light blue one that I got from Hobby Lobby it came with a yellow uh, Easter gnome bunnies and I think it's just so cute so I'm gonna put that right here and I'm also switching out my hand soap. This Black Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works smells so good. It is powerful too, by the way. And then I'm using this candle from Dollar Tree. And I thought it was funny that it said bougie on the back. But I think it's like a lavender or a lilac scent. So I've got my candle going. And I've got my little soap. And it's all matchy matchy. And then I'm using this toilet cleaning tablet so it completely dissolves and foams up in the toilet i'm going to put that in there and then i'm going to go ahead and clean the toilet i like to use a microfiber cloth first to kind of dust and then i'll go in with the uh, pink stuff and it's the bathroom foaming cleanser and go ahead and give that a good clean and then we'll do uh, the vacuuming I 
I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best what is best for you Once I have finished getting my towels all straightened out, getting all the clothes. <laughs> do y'all do this with your uh, clothes that you never clean? Um, I normally just kind of throw them somewhere and then I forget to put them back away. But this little floor mat I got from Timu. I think it's super cute and I have a gray shower curtain so I figured it matched with that. But now I'm going to add all of these little head towels that I got from Timu in my little washcloth basket because uh, once I get out of the shower, I can just grab one of these and tie it around my wet hair instead of using a regular towel to twist my hair. It will just help keep my hair healthy and not falling out as much as it does because I know it doesn't help to use like a really rough towel in your hair. But you can also use a t-shirt, I've heard. So you don't have to use these specific towels for your head if you don't want to. But I got them and I'm just going to put them back on this little thing over here that goes over a toilet but it kept falling so we have it on the wall and y'all that one basket is getting a little out of hand but I'm finishing up in the bathroom now and we're going to move on to the kitchen. Don't worry I washed my hands but now we are going to be making a southern peach tea. All you will need is six pack pouches of tea, or you can use two of the family size pouches of tea. You're going to heat that up however you like to heat up your tea. I normally bring mine to a boil and then just turn off the heat and let it sit there for five, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to get out the peaches. So I have them in juice, but the recipe does call for them in syrup and then I'm using erythritol but you can use regular sugar whatever kind of sugar you want to use you're going to use one cup of sugar and add one cup of water to that to make a simple syrup and then you're going to add your peaches the whole can of peaches juice and all and then you'll pour in your tea and give it a good stir I had it and I would say if you're going to use um, like an alternative sweetener I would add in more normally Aaron does a cup and a half of sugar when he makes his tea so I would actually suggest that um, but I think I I didn't measure my sugar so I, I feel like I didn't even have a whole cup in there but that's all right I will drink on it all week and um, you know it helps me get my water in I guess you could say <laughs> because it's mostly water uh, I'm getting those little tea bags out of there and they always fall in and then I'm just gonna add more water to this and I let it just kind of steep with the peaches 
for about 30 minutes before I had any of it, but I would say this would be even better overnight. So make it the night before and then have it the next day. And I ended up putting mine in a mason jar with a pretty little straw. And I think this would be super cute for summer, any kind of get togethers you're having. It's so refreshing. And yeah, I really liked it. So let me know if you end up trying that. And now we're moving on to my favorite lunch. I'm using this Fresh Express Farmer's Garden. This one has the tomatoes in it. I don't like little cherry tomatoes. They're almost always kind of like taste old for some reason. But I've got about two cups of mixed salad in there. I like that one because it comes with a radish and it also comes with carrots. I'm adding one medium tomato and a like a fifth of a large sweet onion. And I've got, I think right here, like a one cup of corn. I'm just using my leftovers from yesterday and a cup of peas. I may be weird, but this is what I like to do. Then I am adding a little, little handful of jalapenos in here. I love spicy food. So my salads have a little heat going on with them, but the combination of all of it just tastes so good to me. Of course, you could switch out the peas for black beans. You could switch out the sweet onions for red onions. You could really change it up however you like to have your salads. You could do um, avocado in there would be really good. But I'm going to add the jalapenos. Now I'm going to add, I do three tablespoons of salad dressing, um, all, although it does say like two tablespoons of serving. I just know this is the amount I'm going to need, so that's what I put in there. And this is a huge bowl, so if you are not one to eat breakfast and you just eat like a late lunch, this is going to keep you full all day long until you're ready to eat dinner. So I added some pepper, then I added this smoked chili salt from Aldi, and then I'm going to add my habanero sauce, just a few drops of that. I told y'all I like heat, and this stuff is the bomb.com. Does anybody say that anymore? Probably not, but I really like this stuff. Very sparingly though. And then here is about three ounces to four ounces of the buffalo chicken strips which is the grilled and ready from Tyson. I really like this chicken. It gives like the extra kick but they also have a black blackened chicken which I want to try because it says it has uh, 20 grams of protein for one serving which is insane because this one has I think 12 grams per serving which is still pretty good. But we're going to go ahead and add that in. Also, it's just super healthy, by the way, other than it being processed. But here is what this looks like. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. This keeps me satisfied all day long. It is so good. It was so good with that peach tea, um, which kind of just almost reminded me of like a half and half. You know, like if you get half sweet tea and half unsweet tea, it kind of was like that with some peach in there. So... This is the bag that I used with the chicken. They also have just regular grilled chicken. So now we're moving on to the DIY little mobile home update that we're doing today. I have had paper <laughs> covering up this diamond glass window for so long and it looks super tacky, I know. So I'm gonna clean this little window with some Windex and then Aaron is gonna come in and he is going to put the cling on there it's really pretty it's got birds on it and it's kind of textured so it gives you that frosted glass look and i just think it turned out really nice but we're just making sure that we've got it as clean as possible that way it's easy to go on there and we also used a little razor blade um, to just cut the edges really good. So I got Aaron to help me with this because I feel like he's just so much better and more patient at this stuff than I am. 
But there's me smiling because all I have to do is hold that for him. <laughs> but he is just kind of filling it out, seeing where we want to place it. Uh, it's got some little birds on it. I'll show y'all it unrolled a minute. A, a minute from now. Oh my gosh, I cannot even speak. But we're going through. He is cutting off the roll first. And then we'll go in with the razor to get all the edges cut off. Okay, so we had some difficult, technical difficulties getting the back off of it. But once he got that done, it stuck on to the window really nicely. Also, it's pretty durable. It's really thick because it has that textured frosted glass look to it. So I really like that because it seems like it was a lot easier to work with. It didn't roll up on you when you're trying to get something done. But look how pretty this is. I'll show y'all up close, but y'all know how much I love birds. And I love that it was the bluebird because our living room we have like it's called storm cloud by sherwin williams and we have that in our uh, laundry area too on the opposite side of this wall so i love how there's just a little blue added there i need to get a piece of artwork to go on the right side of the door because i have a big blue uh picture on the left side with that white chair similar to the chairs I have in the kitchen it's that like portrait look with all the flowers and the vase so I love how the bluebird is here so it pops a little bit but I like little DIYs like this little mini updates like this because it is something that's refreshing and new to the space and it doesn't cost a lot of money at all it doesn't take any time and it's really easy to do what else oh my gosh i love little diabots like this because it's very little effort and you get a, a good little reward out of it so if you're someone like me that is not too keen on like big diy projects that's why y'all don't really see many of those on my channel um i just really love to clean <laughs> and that is what i do a lot but every now and then I'll pop one one of these things in a video because I know some of y'all do like to see stuff like this. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this is the little razor we were using to just cut the edges, which helped out a lot. And then we had one more little row to go and we were done with this project. I'll show y'all what it looks like on the inside. And then what it looks like on the outside. It doesn't look all that great on the outside. <laughs> but um, we see it from the inside. So this is how I want it in anyways. Alright, here it is. You see the frosted texture. I think this turned out so pretty. You could put this on just about anything. And we have quite a bit left over, but this is what it looks like. So there's different patterns to it, different color birds. And that was off of Timu. Now, after we had lunch, the kitchen was a disaster. So we're gonna go ahead and get the kitchen all cleaned up, get the dishes done, all of that. I have done my best to keep the main living areas as clean as possible. Um, so we have not had any dishes left in the sink overnight, which feels amazing. I would say if, if there's just one thing you could keep clean, having your sink empty and not full of dirty dishes is probably the best. Like, I just think it's so awesome to have a sink with no dirty dishes in it. And I'm saying that from experience because, um, we have always just had like a, a whole sink full of dirty dishes and it's an eyesore right but when they're clean and everything's put away it just makes cleaning every day so much easier because you don't have to take 
20 minutes just to clean the dishes before you get into all your other cleaning. But I'm going to shut up and let y'all listen to the music and get some motivation for whatever you need to clean. And I'll pop back in in a minute. Lucky, lucky, lucky me.
all right that is it for today's video i hope you got some motivation from it and i will see y'all back here on thursday for a new homemaking video and i hope you have a wonderful day bye